Well, the clock is ticking on this Valentine's Day, but even if you're alone or even brokenhearted tonight, a Charlotte woman's story may give you hope that something great and unexpected might be around the corner. And that's because after she broke up with a man, she found a labor of love in the form of gnomes. And what she has now is a business venture beyond her wildest dreams. Queen City News reporter John Lee explains how her adorable inventory has generated sales and lots of smiles. Outside this Charlotte home, there are small signs of what's happening inside. <laughs> but the outdoor decor is, shall we say, dwarfed by the manufacturing magic <laughs> happening inside. I, I think that's always the best step to do something that makes you happy. You know, life is short. She did say short, but few of us have visions of these little guys dancing in our heads. Maybe that's what happens when you're not afraid to dream small. Wendy Hoffmeister owns Wendy's Gnome Shop where she gives every mythical creature a cute outfit and an irresistible identity. A flamingo and a shark and a beach theme, which I guess they are my babies in a way. <laughs> Bride and groom, like a wedding couple, and we're offering football gnomes. Gnome, seriously. She sold some 30,000 of them in the past couple of years. First in the tank is a business that seeks to delight with their magical creatures. But her vision hit a crescendo when Wendy became partners with mogul Damon John on ABC's Shark Tank. That's my nummy! Yeah. Come on, come on, give it off. Oh give it my off. god. She knew he was the one almost immediately. Damon's like reaction to his gnome, he like loved it so much. So, as she says, hanging with the gnomies paid off. The gnome is off to its home. <laughs> She's shipped them to all 50 states and 23 countries. The unlikely source of livelihood actually began in late 2019. Yeah, I'd gone through a breakup and I needed something to pass the time. So I started crafting and I made a gnome and my friends thought it was really cute. So I decided to put it on Etsy. But the venture really took off in March of 2020 of all times. How it just makes them happy. And like during the pandemic is when I really got popular and I think people were just looking for some kind of joy. She took her original creation and kept making gnome improvements. In December of 2020, Wendy quit her job as a labor and delivery nurse to become a full-time entrepreneur. Now she helps deliver these babies. You, you want to make people feel good when you're a nurse. So now I just make people feel good a different way. Each gnome is homemade. The beards come from upstairs, the fur room. All our beards for the gnomes are cut by hand, so we draw this stencil on here first, and then we just cut them individually. Okay. Then, with an ungodly amount of hot glue, Wendy has a nose for what makes her gnomes come to life. So then that just gets glued on there. The hat goes on. A simple sock makes all the difference. The next evolution in the business is to allow folks to design their own gnome online which seems only natural. I think what I love the most about them is my customer's connection to them. Wendy's story just shows that sometimes a broken heart can be mended with a glue gun. And now she says it's raining gnomes. Hallelujah. I, I think you should follow your passion. In Charlotte, John Lee, Queen City News. Oh, what a great story. Oh, what a great story and so <laughs> yeah. many great puns there. I mean, that's my gnome -y. Oh, my gosh. That's right. I got uh, another one for you. You can definitely say that gnome wasn't built in a day. Oh, there's no place <laughs> like gnome. Yeah, and along with the recently launched gnome concept, Wendy's Gnome Shop says the possibilities are endless. They sure are. Well, she'd even like to be able to one day have a brick-and-mortar store to fulfill all of your gnome needs.